think you're too late, too behind, or too old to learn coding, you're not. And this video will prove it because the real risk isn't starting late. It's never starting at all. By the end of this video, I will prove why right now is the best time to jump in and learn to code. Plus, I'll share a couple stories and stats that might just change how you see your whole career and the unexpected thing that gives late starters a secret edge. Look, I've been a software engineer earning six figures for over three years now. And honestly, I'm a little jealous of people who are starting now. You've got smarter tools, more support, bigger opportunities than ever. If I had all of this back when I started, I would have been able to change careers 10 times faster. And that is why I'm so passionate about helping you start because this current day and age is packed with so much potential. And I'll prove it to you with two examples based on my real student success stories that'll make you rethink what is possible. If you don't already know who I am, hey, my name is Iman. I went from working in a warehouse to landing an $80,000 developer job in under six months with no tech degree and zero tech background. I've interviewed at massive companies like Canva for six figure roles. And I've also helped dozens of career changes like yourself transition into tech and earn six figures. But trust me, I didn't start out with some sort of genius brain or perfect plan. I struggled. I felt imposter syndrome. I quit multiple times, but I kept going. So let's imagine someone like Patrick. Let's say he's 35. He spent his whole career teaching English and he thought tech was something only meant for his students. Then one day he stumbles onto AI. AI starts helping him write his lesson plans and that flips a switch in his head. He asks himself, if AI can help me do my job, what else can I do with it? And more importantly, what can I learn to do with it? Fast forward six months of consistent effort. Patrick is now building web applications. He's now freelancing and even landed his first developer job. No computer science degree, no tech background, just a bold decision and persistence. And here's the thing, while Patrick's story is just an example, his story is based off of what I've seen happen dozens of times with my real students who made the switch. So the point is, it isn't about starting young. It's about starting smart. If you can manage a group chat with your family or remember your Wi-Fi password, what you don't realize is you are already tech savvy enough to learn to code. Believe me. Let's get into some stats for a second. Did you know that the average age of a software developer is 32 years old? That means that most developers aren't 22 year olds fresh out of university. The people who have had jobs, changed careers, maybe even changed diapers too. Sure, the younger you are, the better because you have more free time to learn. But if I'm judging based off of what I've seen with my students, being older is actually an advantage because it makes you more focused and more determined. And here's the kicker. Career switches usually land their first developer job within just three to six months of consistent effort and learning. So you're not late. You are literally the average. Look, I get it. You're worried that you will spend months learning to code just for chat GPT to come and take your job. But here's the truth. AI writes code, but it doesn't understand what it's writing. And to the naked eye or someone who doesn't have much tech experience, it's easy to look at the code that chat GPT or any of these new softwares spit out and think, wow, this is amazing. But any developer who actually knows how to code will tell you that the code that chat GPT or any of these other softwares spit out is pure garbage. It looks good on first impression, but when you try and put it into your code editor and run it, you get like seven, eight, nine errors in the console. And you end up spending more time trying to fix this AI generated code than it would have taken to just write it up by yourself. And again, this is the experience of people who already know how to code. If you didn't know how to code, there would be no chance that you would know how to fix those errors. Not even to mention the fact that AI does not understand your client's weird needs. It doesn't know your user's real problems. AI is just a tool. It's not a threat. And the only people who are thriving with AI are the people who know how to code because the capability of AI is strictly determined by the capability of its user. So AI isn't a replacement for people who know how to code. It's a power up. Now, let me introduce you to Alexander. So let's say he's 26 years old. He's been working in IT support for the last three years. And while the work isn't super bad, it's just very boring and unfulfilling and overall just stagnant. There's no way up for him in this career. And he kind of wants to get into programming and coding, not just for the money and the lifestyle, but the actual work and being able to build new things on a day-to-day -day basis is something he finds very fulfilling. So one day he asks ChatGPT, is it too late for me to learn to code? And he almost closes the tab, but instead he followed ChatGPT's suggestion. He learned the basics. He joined a bootcamp to get a proper support system, a proper structure, and 
clarity on what he actually has to learn. He built projects for his family, his friends, local businesses to gain real world experience. And he landed his first developer job in just five months of consistent learning. Now again, Alexander is also just an example, but I can tell you this, that timeline is completely real. I've seen this exact timeline again and again and again with my actual real students who chose to commit and stay consistent. Three to six months is the average window that it takes for someone to land their first developer job if they have the right roadmap. And here's the takeaway. Alexander didn't just learn how to code. He used code to solve real problems for real people and real businesses. And that is actually what got him hired. Now, if you're thinking, but I'm not a math person. Neither was Patrick. You don't need calculus. You just need curiosity. And here's what no one actually tells you. Older learners actually have an advantage. You've already built time management. You've already built focus. You've already built problem solving. You've already built grit. And that's exactly what learning to code requires. Not genius, not luck, just a willingness to keep going when the computer screams at you. Look, imagine this. You stick with this for six months, just six months. You've built a portfolio. You've posted a few quality projects online. You've helped a local business build a website and you land your first developer job. That's not a fantasy. That's a totally achievable path. I've seen it happen again and again and again with real students. You see, all Alexander and Patrick needed was structure, consistency and support. And that's what you need too. And if you want someone to lay the path down for you step by step, that's exactly what I help my students with in my coding bootcamp ASAP frontend. I've helped dozens of career changes starting in all sorts of industries from finance to education to medical transition into tech and land a 60 to 100k developer job in three to six months guaranteed. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, you can check it out with the first link in the description. But even if you don't click anything. Just do something. Google HTML crash course. Hell, I have dozens of free courses on my YouTube channel. Open VS Code. Type your first line. Just start. Because here's the truth. You're not too old. You're not too late. You're not too behind. The only thing that is stopping you is not starting. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what other topics you want to see me talk about. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.